So this is the city of Victoria. Uh, see the lights here around the city. Kita mo yung mga lights dito. Banda. Yeah. Yung pinak harbor nila. Pero mandoon daw may kwan pa doon. Uh, paikot pa tayo doon. Tignan natin kung ano maganda doon. Doon yung mga tao pumunta sa mga uh, um, mataas na lugar. Nahirap kasi pa ang gabi. Hindi masyado. Lalo na yung camera. Uh, kahit maganda siya. Tingnan. Pero pag videohan mo. Ayan. Hindi na siya maganda. Tingnan. Kasi malayo na kasi. Ito yung Victoria. British Columbia. Ito yung pinaka kapital ng um, British Columbia. Uh, ang tawag nila dito ay Victoria kasi yung iba akala nila yung kapital ng British Columbia ay Vancouver pero ang sa totoo ang kapital talaga is Victoria pero mas malaki yung land area ng uh, Vancouver at mas populated sila doon pero itong Victoria naman ay nandito yung pinaka legislative uh, building nila yung mga governor at saka yung Congressman nila nandito yung seat of government kaya um, dinarayo din dito um, kadalasan dinarayo ito ng gabi kasi napakaganda ang ilaw nila kaya tingnan natin at panoorin natin nice and slow there are some passengers that didn't get off the bus so if you do want to uh, if you didn't get off the bus and you want to uh, take a photo of the legislature building so while you are here visiting which is probably I think you're uh, all aboard times 1130 I believe so you're here for less than an hour but if you do hear anybody refer to those buildings across the way the ones that are all lit up and that those buildings across the harbor that are all lit up there they are lit up every night of the year Ooh. and uh, if you hear anybody refer to those buildings as the parliament buildings you have my permission to correct them you can tell them that my tour guide Leroy told me to tell you that you're wrong those are not Parliament buildings. Those are our legislature buildings. So I will briefly tell you the difference between the two. So uh, we are the capital city of the province here of uh, British Columbia, here in Victoria. We're the capital of BC. But we are not the nation's capital. The nation's capital is Ottawa, Ontario. And they have buildings similar uh, to those ones and those uh, buildings in Ottawa are the Parliament buildings and the reason for the difference in names it is the uh, um, difference 
in names of our politicians here in Canada. So we are what is called a constitutional monarchy, meaning we have our own rules and laws. We don't uh, we we don't uh, follow all the rules and laws of England, but we do still honor our heritage, and so we uh, we actually use. The, uh, we still go by the British parliamentary system here, and so our federal politicians are called members of parliament, and they gather in Ottawa, in our nation's capital, in the parliament buildings to do their work. And then our provincial politicians are called members of the legislative assembly, or MLAs, and they gather in each province or uh, territory in buildings like the ones we have here called our legislature buildings and that is where they gather to do their work so that is the difference so we do not have parliament buildings here we have legislature or legislative buildings so we're going to make our way back across the bridge back into uh, old town victoria so i did mention a lot of the brick buildings that you see uh in uh in and around uh this part the uh inner in close to the inner harbor of victoria these old brick buildings like the ones ahead of us here have been around since the 1860s and 1870s so what was going on here at that time there was a gold rush uh, over, not here on the island, but over on the mainland. Uh, they were, uh, um, gold was found uh, about, I want to say about four or five hours from Vancouver. First uh, found gold was uh, first discovered or found in a place called Barkerville, which is up in the interior of BC. But at that time, in order for you or in order for someone to uh, go and take part in that gold rush, they had to first arrive here. And what was still here at that time until 1864 was uh, Fort Victoria. And so what had ended up happening through the 1860s and into the 1870s was a massive population explosion. And so they needed to uh, bring in lots of materials and uh, and lots of things in order to uh, build and uh, put in buildings and some infrastructure. And so a lot of uh, a lot of building materials were actually brought up. So if anyone has seen pictures of old San Francisco uh, before the fire that destroyed that city. Um, when you go through Old Town Victoria, it looks very reminiscent of uh, old San Francisco. And that's because a lot of the materials and a lot of the, uh, the labor that helped build that city actually came up here and, and, uh, and helped build this part of what is now Victoria. Coming up on the left, we're going to see Bastion Square. And uh, Bastion Square is where the very first uh, courthouse uh, was located. And just outside yeah. that courthouse is where the oh. gallows were. And uh, during that time, in the mid, uh, well, right in the 1860s and into the 1870s, we actually had a judge here. The presiding judge was uh, a judge by the name of Matthew Bailey Begbie. And during his time here, he became known as the Hanging Judge. So they're actually a really neat tour that happens in downtown Victoria every night and it actually happens not just during the cruise ship season but also through the winter. They do ghostly walking tours through downtown Victoria, which is, uh, Victoria is said to be, especially downtown here, is said to be uh, quite haunted. So just up and to the left here is where Bastion Square is located and uh, directly ahead of us is uh fort street and so when we went through fort street going in the other direction i'm not sure what you two are doing here standing in front of a crosswalk are we crossing They're from the oh. ship. maybe they opted to go and have a couple of beers instead of joining us on the tour i think 
So Fort Street. So right down here, I, I mentioned uh, right at the base of Fort Street. This is where this is where the gates originally were for Fort Victoria, which is how and why Fort Street gets its name. We're not overly original in naming our streets here in Victoria. Gates of Fort Victoria were located here, so we're going to call this road Fort Street. James Douglas was uh, the benefactor of, uh, of Victoria. He was the Hudson's Bay Company man that built Fort Victoria back in 1843. And of course, the longest street in the city and the main uh, thoroughfare going in and out of downtown Victoria is named Douglas Street. So we have the buildings here, the legislature buildings directly in front of us. To the right with the uh, with the all the pillars around it there um, that is called the steamship terminal building and it's all lit up there on the right hand side and then just coming into view one of the more famous buildings in Victoria the Empress Hotel all three of these buildings the most iconic buildings in downtown Victoria all designed and built by the same architect Francis Rattenbury so the legislature building, our government building there, which will just be uh, directly in front of us as we make this turn, that was Francis Rattenbury's very first commission, very first uh, build, completed in 1898. And then 10 years after completing the legislature buildings, Francis Rattenbury completed this uh, building here to our left. So 1908 was when the Empress Hotel was completed. It's been around for 116 years. Interesting fact about the Empress Hotel here, if you have a look out the left side of the bus, all of the grounds, all of the land that you see the Empress Hotel sitting on now, before uh, Francis Rattenbury turned this into a hotel, all of these grounds that was all part of the harbor so francis uh, pilings of uh, cedar uh, pilings and then built the empress hotel on top of those pilings so francis rattenbury is credited with uh, around 50 buildings uh, throughout this region he was a very, very successful architect here. Obviously, our three most iconic buildings in downtown are all uh, uh, Francis Rattenbury builds. But when he first started, so he uh, arrived here, came over from England uh, prior to leaving England. He was working for his uncles in their architecture firm, but he wasn't quite finished. Uh, all, all of the uh, prerequisites, everything that he needed to be a full-fledged architect. The reason his uncle sent him away was he was starting to get himself into some trouble. And so his uncle figured, uh, you know, maybe a trip to the New World might uh, sort things out. And so he sent Francis uh, here. And shortly after arriving, Francis saw that the, uh, the government was looking uh, for a, a new government or a government building here. And he was an accomplished uh, draftsman, a really good artist, and so he put in his uh, he put in an application. He put in a tender uh, for the competition that was going on. Obviously, at a time where they didn't have much uh, fact checking and Google definitely did not exist, Francis Rattenbury, uh, in his application to uh, get the commission for that building, he actually took credit for several buildings in Europe that were built long before he was ever born. <laughs> they, uh, the uh, people making the decision liked his, uh, his renderings, they liked the, the drafts that he did, they liked the budget that he proposed, and so he got the uh, commission for that building. And it led to a very successful architecture career here. Like I said, credited with, almost, with nearly 50 buildings, most of which still stand today. So just on our right here, if you look just down below us to the right, so I mentioned at the beginning of the tour that we have two ferries that make their way from downtown Victoria over to Washington State. So the Coho, the very large ferry that goes directly across the strait over to uh, Port Angeles, leaves from uh, here just down to our right. 
and then as we continue along I talked I spoke a little bit about the clipper which is a smaller uh, high-speed catamaran that will that uh, daily a couple of times a day makes the same trip that your cruise ship is going to make overnight tonight and this is the uh, clipper terminal here just down to our right So right now we are making our way through this is the uh, very first so it is the same residential neighborhood uh, that your uh, that the cruise ship is docked in but it also happens to be the very first neighborhood to get built up outside the gates Ranger! 